All right, so a lot of good stuff. Your streamline is very good. Your breathing is uh, comfortable. You're not really lifting your head. You're not lifting your head at all when you turn to breathe. Uh, I noticed you were breathing on the left side there and previously you were breathing on the right side. So now you're on the right side. So you, you're able to breathe on both sides. You know, that's a good uh, skill to have. Uh, hips and legs are pretty high in the water. Forward extension is good. However, your left hand is crossing in a little more than it needs to when you're breathing to the right. Now your alternate side breathing, all right. All right, so just be aware of where your hands extend to on your breathing stroke. Uh, you're just going in a little bit more than you need to on the right as well. And what I mean by that is approaching the center line. Ideally, you want your hands to remain extended in front of your shoulder, right, like the, the corresponding shoulder. Uh, Stroke-wise, I could see you're doing mostly a straight arm pull. We'll talk about that when we get to underwater. And then you could improve the finish of the stroke a little bit. All right, so from here, what we look for is rotation and what's going on with your hips as you, as you take your strokes. So your rotation could be a little better. And I think there's the main way for you is going to be working on the finish of the stroke. Uh, typically it's by working on the extension, but your extension is pretty good. Everybody's extension would be a little better, but yeah, if you push all the way through, you get a little more rotation. So I was talking about reaching in. You're just barely reaching in sometimes. Uh, so it's real minimal, but it's something to be aware of. All right, so this is working on extension and hand position at the start of the stroke so that your hands are always in front of the shoulder or slightly wide. The reason for this is so that the initial bit of the stroke pull is with mostly back engagement. If you reach to the center line, you get a little more bicep and pec engagement, which is not as efficient for swimming. All right, so this one focused solely on reaching as far as possible. And you're doing a good job of keeping those hands in front of the shoulders. Yeah, and you can visually watch. I can see that you're looking up a little bit, so that is that is helpful. Very good. All right, this one you're focusing on the push phase of the stroke. So this is also going to slow down your stroke rate slightly. It's going to give you a complete stroke, right? So you're not missing out on any aspect of it. And it's going to assist with the streamline. You know, right at the apex of the extension, you'll be a little bit skinnier to the water. This is another one that'll cause you fatigue as you practice it because you're using muscles that haven't re really been totally utilized. All right, so this is one arm drill working on the uh, high elbow, early vertical forearm. That's good. So anytime you see a sort of arc to the arm from this angle or the underwater angle, that means you're getting some of that hand and forearm position. Very good. So the movement requires extending and then shrugging or rolling the shoulder and then pulling. You know, the more you practice the, the actual motion, this is like the, um, the nitty gritty of freestyle technique is getting this catch. Ah, good.
good. Good. Good. Good. How are you getting in? Good. All right, this is a 50 uh, using fist with paddles. So, yeah, very good. So the paddle gives you a little more like feedback on the resistance on your forearm. Very good. You can see that right arm really getting a nice hook on it. Yeah, and I can see you rotating your shoulder or shrugging your shoulder. Excellent. getting some of it with the left so the uh, left is not getting the total benefit here because you're breathing on the right so I'm gonna have you do this one more time breathing on your left side and see what happens to that left arm all right so this time you're breathing to the left so that hopefully you can you know grab the technique a little better with that left arm your right here is still doing a good job so I'm gonna assume you're like right hand dominant Looking at this left. Yeah, you're getting it. That's a better stroke. Yep, very good. You can see the forearm angle down there. Yep. Yeah, so this could be something that you consider uh, when you're working on this particular drill. Make sure you either alternate breathe or just take turns breathing to the left, breathing to the right. All right, everybody's favorite dog paddle. Gotta get the but used to not bringing your arms out. <laughs> that's all right. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, so you're getting the, um, the vertical forearm there right at the beginning. So you can see that extreme, on some of them, the more extreme arc to your arm. That's it. That's it. Get in there. Yeah, this one's tough. Alright, yeah, this is one lap and you're already better at it. Yeah, so the goal here is really just feeling that high elbow catch slash early vertical form, which I can see you're getting. <laughs> 